hello friends so today video i'm going to explain you like uh, how we we have to create the uh, file system in a linux okay suppose if you if we are working in any organization right so we as a linux admin so we are getting the multiple request from the like uh, user like they wants to create the file system either or they wants to increase the file system right so today video i'm going to explain you how we have to create the new file system on the linux os okay from the scratch so i'm just requesting you all of you please watch this till this video till end so you can get the clear concept okay in a previous video uh, i in that uh, i saw you like how to create a new storage volume on the linux os in uh, vcenter so in today video i'm going to show you like uh, how we have to create the file system okay for example now as of now for example like uh, one uh, dba team is there and the dba team needs to uh, like you know create a db2 mount point on the linux server so they requested okay so how we will have to, how we have to create that db2 mount point on the linux server so that i'm going to explain you fine so you you can see this is my uh, blog uh, my linux cloud here all the re linux related documents and troubleshooting issues are here available so if you want you can visit this website i will give you uh, this web uh, this blog link in video description okay let me start now so you can see this is my vcenter and in this vcenter i have only one virtual server that virtual server name is spacewalk let me log into this server okay <coughs> yes so you can see uh, this uh, this is a, uh, a spacewalk server let me check one thing here first one second this is console so let me check how many disk are available as of now here in on this server so let me use blk ls blk command so you can see as of now two disk is uh, available one is sda that size is a 20 gb one is a sdb that size is a 5 gb right so you can see uh, like you know in a previous video i saw you right uh, like how to add new volume so that we saw you like we added 5 gb if you remember we added the 5 gb disk uh here so this is showing 5 gb fine now we have to create the uh, file system mount point so how we have to create so when you're creating a file system there is certain steps so you have to follow that one okay so today i'm going to explain you like uh, from the pv like how we have to create the pv then vg then lv so like if you're planning to create any mount point in uh, from the beginning so you first what you have to do you have to add the new storage on the server from the vcenter once you add the storage then you have what you have to do you have to if uh, that storage is not visible on the server then you have scan the device that command i given that right, in a previous video a scan the device once you scan then uh, that device will be visible on the server if still it's not visible then you have to reboot the server okay you take the uh, approval from the client and then you can reboot the server now what you have to do you have to create the pv physical volume then you have to create the vg volume group then you have to create the lv logical volume then what you have to do then you have to create the file system type and then you have to <coughs> mount and then you have to add in a fs tab so this is the process okay so i'm going to explain you step by step so what we have to do first we have to create the pv so pv we are going to create so we are usually going to use pv create command pv pv create and slash the slash what is the device name sdb you can see sdb so you can see here it is showing the physical volume 
uh, dev sdb successfully created pvs you can if you uh, run the command pvs you can see now you have a tool pv device here now what you have to do you have to create the vg volume group right so vg create command you have to use and then slash and uh, sorry uh, space and volume group name so now i'm going to give here db2 okay my volume group name is a db2 and then here you have to give your pv name so what is your pv name dev and you can see here pv name is a dev and sdb so dev sdp hit enter so you can see your volume group db2 successfully created it's showing right let me check it's created or not so vgs command you can use so you can see it's showing db2 group right so pv is created and vg is also uh, vg is also created now so in a vg uh, you can uh, like you know if you want to check so you can use a vgs command or you vg display so that is also one command you can use okay now we have to create lv lv s so one second let me clear the screen l v s so you can see as of now two uh, like uh, it's a uh, one uh, uh, is showing right like c1 okay so we have to create now lv so what we have to use the command we have to use lv create a space here you have to uh, like you know you have to you know like understand the things see pv and v, uh, vg is very simple pv create and pv name vg create v, vg name that is very simple command and you can use it but when you are using the lv create command so you have to you know uh, like uh, more focus i can say so i will show you here something so you can see uh, like lv lv create and i am going to use hyphen n because i am going to create new file system hyphen n and then your lv name so i am going to use lv name like lv01 so anything as per your requirement and then i am going to use here hyphen l and i will tell you why i am going to use hyphen l hyphen l and then size I'm going to use 5 GB, uh, 5 G, and then my VG name. So what is the VG name? VG name is DB2. Now you can see, I'm going to use LV create command. That's fine. Hyphen N. Why? Because it's a new. And when you extending the LV, then we are not using the hyphen N. Just remember because now we are going to create the new volume so we are going to use hyphen n and then lv name is that same that is not going to change like oh, as per your requirement you give that name and here now see you can see i am using hyphen capital l and you know there is two options hyphen capital l and hyphen a small l so in a both meaning is different so what is the different when you are using the hyphen capital L it means you going to specify how much GB in like you know 4 GB 5 GB 10 GB 100 GB 200 GB like that but if you using hyphen a small L then you have to then like you know then you are talking about the percentage how many percentage like 100 percent 60 percent 70 percent 2 percent 5 percent you getting my point so this is a different hyphen capital L and a small L and that so this is a command now so we are going to create the LV now so volume group DV2 in is sufficient yes see when we are using you know LV create hyphen N uh, and uh, LV uh, hyphen L and size so you can see we are getting error why because we are uh, how much GB uh, storage we have attached 5 GB and we are going to create total size here so it's not going to allow why because 
we, when we are creating a you know PV VG, then uh, you know that size part is decreasing because some data is uh, like something is creating on the disk, right? So size is decreasing. If we will give here 4.5, then like it will create. For if you will give the here 4, it will create. But if you will give the actual size, then it will not create. So in this condition, what we have to do? We have to use, if you want to use a whole disk, then what you have to use? Use hyphen a small l and here remove this one and then you can use plus 100% free. So now you can see logical volume LV01 it's created LVS if you see LVS now you can see LVS is showing here 5GB right so you 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 getting a point right so you see like if your total size is there and then if you're going to use hyphen capital L and specify the size total size it will not will work in that condition what we have to do you have to use a small L and 100% free fine so my VG, uh, PV, VG and LV, it's a created now. <coughs> now we have to create a file system type. So there is two file system, there are many uh, types of file system, ext2, 2, 3, 4, XF, XFS, right? So in this video, I'm going to create a ext4 file system. Okay. Because that generally nowadays we are using for the list transaction. In a big transaction, we are using like uh, XFS. For a small, we can we are using the ext4. I can say. So let me create the file system type. So mkfs. What is the command? mkfs hyphen t ext4 space. And here you have to give the full path dev slash. And what is the vg name? V VG name is dvt dv2 right dv2 and what is the lv name lv01 so when you mm, like uh, when you're creating the ext4 file system then you can use the mkfs hyphen t command and when you planning to use uh, like create the xfs file system then can you can use mk mkfs dot f <coughs> xfs let me so it's a created you can see it's a file system is a created second one second yeah so you can see it's a file system is a uh, created it's a telling here it's a done so my file system is a now created now what we have to do now we have to mount the file system so what we have to do first we have to create one directory mkdir hyphen dv2 right and then now what we have to use let me show you something here first so you can see now as of now we have this many file system mounted in the server right so we are going to mount the file system which one we have created so we will use the mount command mount space and here we have to give the full path again dev vg oh vg name is vg name what is vg name db2 slash and then lv name what is lv name lv01 space slash and which mount point we are going to mount it db2 right db If you see now, so you can see it's showing right DB2 mounted here, right? That's fine. So we we have created a successfully file system and we have mounted. But now, if now like uh, we if we give to the application team like hey you can use this file system now, and they will use that is that is not a problem. But if someone rebooted this server, then what will happen? If someone rebooted this file system, then this mount point will be not come automatically. You know, then we have to again go to the server and 
mount them manually. So we are going to avoid this such a kind of uh, you know <coughs> issue. So what we are going to do here, we are going to add this mount point in a FS tab. Okay, let me add them in FS tab. How we will add? I will show you. Good. Before you going to add in in FS tab, this is my test machine. So I'm going to you know uh, like directly I'm going to add like in edit. But if you working in any organization, I suggesting you. If you before you're going to you edit the yeah, FS tab, before please take the backup. Okay, if something will be goes wrong, then you can restore it. So FS tab. So in, you can see in FS tab. So in FS tab, total six columns is available, right? So I'm I'm not going to explain you here what is a six column meaning. If you want. Please comment me. I will uh, like uh, ex I will uh, explain in another video. Okay. Fine. So here, what you have to give the again full path dev slash mapper. Sorry. Mapper, then slash. Uh, what is your uh, VG name? DB2 DB2 slash and LV01 okay and here <coughs> we have to give the uh, like <coughs> mount point name sorry so what is the mount point name? DB2 and then here you have to specify the which type of this file system. This is a ext4 file system, and then a space, and here you can default. Mention you can mention default space and zero zero, and now you can save it. Fine. So this is the way you can create the file system, right? So like from the scratch. So in the next video, I will show you like on this file system, how like we have to extend the LV, like how do we have to extend the uh, file system, okay? So I hope uh, you like this video. So please uh, like, uh, like this video, subscribe my channel and comment it if you like uh, wants to add any up, like, you know, like anything here. If by chance if I miss here, so if you want to add it, you can add it through the comment. Okay, so thanks for watching. Have a good day.